Hi friends, today we're going to work with compound sentences a little bit more. So in our last unit a few weeks ago, we talked about compound sentences. So to remind you, a compound sentence is two simple sentences joined by a comma and the word and, but, or, or, which remember those are our conjunctions. You can make a compound sentence more interesting by moving words around and adding details. So that's what we're going to focus on today. So remember, sim simple sentences are sentences that have one subject, one predicate, and compound sentences are when you take the two of those and put them together. Okay? If you'd like to follow along with what I'm doing today, you can open up to page 430 in your um, workbook, in your reading hardback reading book. Okay? So our focus for this unit is that we're going to work with our compound sentences to make them more interesting by shifting some words around and adding details. Okay, so look here at our original compound sentence. I listen to music and I see pictures in my head. Okay, see the first simple sentence, I listen to music. The second simple sentence, I see pictures in my head and they're combined by a comma and a conjunction and in this case. So let's look at how we can improve this sentence. I listen to music and I see beautiful pictures in my head, right? So you're just giving a little more detail to the reader. It doesn't have to be a lot of different other details, but just adding that little bit of detail adds some more to the reader. Because right here it just says she sees pictures in her head, but this one says they see beautiful pictures, right? So let's look at this sentence, this compound sentence. Writers use words, but composers use notes. Okay, first simple sentence here, writers use words. Second simple sentence, composers use notes, okay, and they're combined by a comma and the conjunction, but. All right, so in this case, we're going to add some details to the beginning. So it says, words are used by writers, but composers use musical notes. So as you can see, they shifted some words around here in the first sen simple sentence, right? It, over here it said, writers use words, but this one kind of flips it around. It says, words are used by writers, and we've added the detail of musical notes, all right? So this is just going to start really building and working with that writing skill, as well as reviewing how to build a compound sentence, okay? So let's try a few of these. All right, so they want to us to move around, move words around, or add details to make the compound sentence more interesting, okay? So the first one is, I listen to music and I feel happy, all right? So I listen to music and I feel happy. All right, let me make sure that that's what, is, what we had. I listen to music and I feel happy, yes. So let's think about how we could make this a little more interesting to our reader, okay? So I could think about what kind of music I listen to to give more detail to the reader. So I could write something like, when I listen to upbeat music, so that's kind of like a faster, happier. When I listen to music, or well, let's take out the when, because let's make it, I listen to upbeat music, and then I feel happy. Let's do it like that. Right, so we're just adding a little bit more detail as we go to give a little bit more information to the reader and just make it a little more organized. So I listen to music and then I feel happy, right? So still a compound sentence because we have our first simple sentence is I listen to upbeat music. Second sentence, simple sentence, then I feel happy. And then we have the comma and conjunction in the middle. All right, so the next one says people use music for fun and music can help people relax. So people use music for fun and music can help people relax. All right, so people use music for fun and music can help people relax. So how can we think about what can we add to the sentence? Can we rearrange the sentence to make it more interesting or improve it? Well, we could say some people use music to have fun and some people use music to relax. So we're just kind of shifting some things around, changing some words, just making it more interesting. We're really, really, really just working to expand our writing experience. All right, so let's try our last one which is the, vi the violin is hard to play, but I like playing the piano. The violin is hard to play, but I like playing the piano. 
So we could think about learning to play the violin is hard, but I enjoy when I play the piano, right? So just adding some different language. So flipping this around, instead of saying the violin is hard to play, I could say learning to play the violin is hard, so flipping that around. And then using the word enjoy here, instead of just saying I like, because it's just a, an, another sort of synonym that is, just expands our writing to be a little bit more connected to the reader, right? So you just want to think about that. There's not really right or wrong answers. It's really just expanding those sentences. So when you write, you can join short choppy sentences to make one longer sentence. You can also move words around and add details. This makes your writing more interesting. So look at these examples of some short choppy sentences. So Lupe plays the tuba. Her brother Jaime plays the flute. Okay, so short choppy sentences. So look at this longer, more interesting sentence. It says Lupe plays the tuba very well and her brother Jaime is a good flute player. So one, it makes it flows a lot better, it sounds a lot better to our ear without being so choppy and it gives us more detail that they play their instruments well. Okay, so when you're revising any sort of paragraph, you're going to look for a shorter sentence as you can combine and flow together. And remember, we can use our conjunctions and, but, and or to really help combine our compound sentences. All right. So today you're going to work with this exact activity, taking some sen a short sentence, adding another one to it, and then revising those compound sentences to add more detail or change the order. All right. So as always, friends, do your best, try hard, and have a great rest of your day.